Welcome back. Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianca here with a look at the forecast now. So many events now springing back up. You know what? It's still crazy to me. You know, the pandemic had canceled so much. I know I'm talking about this again. It's three years since then. Oh, I know. But uh, I mean, all these events are back. It still boggles my mind that all these events are back and all these people are dependent on the weather too. We're, to make sure we're back, baby. We're back, back, back into Mother's Day. Live events. It's happening this week. Don't so forget about it. Your mom's going to be mad at you. Ooh, yeah. You definitely don't want that to happen. So let's get you through it weather-wise here in the coming days. We've got some interesting things to talk about. First off, a live look from Domenico's on the wharf. You might be able to actually see some clouds there in the screen with the city lights reflecting off of those clouds. Low clouds have been patchy so far across the region tonight. Uh, but will increase as we head through the overnight hours. We had a weather system kind of pass by us today and it is kind of on its way out. There are no showers anymore. I guess there's some weird radar echoes showing up over Santa Cruz County, but that is probably from a distant radar. We're getting some uh, propagation going on with uh, Anyway, there's nothing going on over Santa Cruz County. There's just a radar, uh, weird radar thing that's showing up, probably some ground clutter or something. But either way, as we look at the bigger picture, we do have still quite a bit of cloud cover over the Great Basin. That's really kind of a result of that system passing through. And behind it, things are pretty quiet. We've got high pressure here. We can see some high clouds over here associated with the weather system. And that one is going to keep getting pushed off to the north. This weak ridge of high pressure, which initially will be weak, will settle in over the west coast here in the coming days. And what that means for us is slightly warmer, drier weather, especially in little notice it on the coast uh, with the onshore flow. You may not notice too much of a change in the near term, but that's going to change as we head toward the end of the week because this ridge is going to really expand. You see that pretty graphically as we head into Friday and Saturday. And that's going to mean some very warm temperatures from the Pacific Northwest all the way through California. But then the wild card comes in. I like wild cards right here over the Four Corners region. We have a weak upper level low. This right here is a very strong trough of low pressure, very cold temperatures aloft. This one here, not all that cold aloft. But it is a low pressure center and it is uh, going to be causing some disturbance across the region. You can see some green showing up here as it spawns showers and thunderstorms over the Great Basin uh, and actually Four Corners region. And then eventually the Great Basin as it begins to make its uh, retrograde trek back toward the West Coast. And next thing you know, we're looking at green here over California. So what does that mean for us? This is Sunday at 6 p.m. Last time I checked, that's Mother's Day. So. While I'm not expecting any rain for coastal cities on Mother's Day outside of any drizzle that we can squeeze out of low clouds, like today, we had some showers, thunderstorms that popped up over the far inland, inland mountains, and that seems like a possibility Monday, Sunday and Monday, in fact, into next week. So something we're going to be watching closely. It will limit the heating of this big ridge as well. So Mother's Day looking a little bit cooler than it did yesterday because of the low sitting right overhead. And again, some showers could linger all the way until Monday. But ultimately, the air mass next week looks like it is going to stay warm for this time of year. We will again notice that more especially for inland areas. So we look at future casts overnight. Low clouds will slowly thicken up. Patchy fog will be possible in our inland valleys. A little bit of drizzle possible on the south and east sides of the bay as that northwesterly flow pushes moisture up the slopes of the northern portions, northern foothills, if you will of the Santa Lucia range. So a little bit of drizzle possible. I don't expect any major issues with it. Um, and then as we head through the day tomorrow, we'll see a couple puffy clouds over the hills, patchy clouds along the coast probably lingering. I think we'll see some sunshine. Um, this latest model run has us pretty clear by 3 p.m., but I still think we're going to see some low clouds in and around the bay tomorrow at times. Onshore flow is just a little bit stronger. There's a little moisture out there. We'll get a little more stable marine layer developing, all a recipe for cloud cover, even though the model not necessarily showing it. But probably sneak in a little sunshine there as well. It's just going to be a partly cloudy day on the coast. So where do we go from there? Well, let's talk about some temperatures. Here's what I'm expecting across Santa Cruz County tomorrow, and that is low to mid 60s along the coast, upper 60s to around 70 in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys, even up in the higher terrain. Not too bad tomorrow, upper 60s. And these temperatures are just going to keep going up for the rest of the week. So if you don't like the heat and have things to get done outdoors, whether that's some yard work or whatever you need to do, well, maybe tomorrow's the day to do it before the heat gets here, and it will be pretty toasty this weekend. We could be seeing 80s and 90s in the Santa Cruz Mountains by Saturday, so it's going to get warmer. 66 in Hollister tomorrow, 70 in Gilroy, low 60s in an arc from Aptos to Salinas, 50s on the southeast corner of the bay with that slightly stronger onshore flow. 
Right now, water temperatures around 55, 56 in the bay. That's up from 51 just a few weeks ago, but the winds have been pretty quiet since then, at least uh, in the last week or so. So that's allowed the temperatures to head upward a little bit. Uh, only 50s across the peninsula tomorrow due to those onshore winds. And then farther south away from the coast will warm up, but still cool for this time of year. Looking at that seven day forecast, we'll take you all the way through Mother's Day and beyond. And on the coast, it's going to be a slow warm up with windy afternoons, low clouds at times. Uh, a little more sunshine in the forecast Friday into Saturday. Saturday being the warmest day because of the increase in clouds on Sunday, though, from the east. Um, I think we will see a decrease in the temperatures on the coast. Some models are showing some stronger onshore flow that day. And then the inertia of that low gives us almost a bit of an offshore push on Monday, which warms us back up. So it's interesting what's going to happen. My forecast confidence Sunday and Monday, I will have to tell you, is not high at this point. So that means we're going to need to keep an eye on the forecast during the coming days. So there's just a lot going on in the different levels of the atmosphere. And a lot of those things can have impacts at different levels. So it's going to be kind of complicated. Inland areas, a pretty steady warm up through Saturday, where our average inland temperature will be around 86, which is 10 degrees above normal. There's that thunderstorm chance Sunday and Monday. And I do want to mention again, this is looking most likely over the inland mountains, so maybe even not even inland valleys. Something to keep in mind, though, as we get forward in that forecast. Victor. Thanks so much, Dan.